This is not an easy year for Ashtrapak. We are instituting big changes in difficult markets, and these can be unsettling in a time when we also have to keep the business delivering superior quality products on time and in full to our customers. The first six months in our journey represented the first chapter of the turnaround and required some big decisions to be made and decisive actions to be taken. It's been about fixing the business fundamentals and in many instances going back to basics for Astropac. Certain events such as the East Rand Plastics fire did change our priorities to some, in, to some extent and in many cases we had to accelerate certain elements of our program even at great cost to the business. The results that will be tabled today is presented to you against this backdrop. There's no question for me that the turnaround was timely and it was necessary. We found a number of things that we needed to address and I think we've made significant progress in that regard. Manly has also given you an understanding that this is a two-year plan, it's a two-year process, and our operating results this year were mediocre. He's been through them with you, we understand that and we know that, but it's not unexpected when you're going through the sort of processes that we are. Having said that, however, I think from my perspective, the improvements that we are seeing are making a significant difference, and we've made great progress already on the objectives and the uh, <coughs> strategies that we set ourselves. And in my mind, there's no question that these are going to deliver for the business going forward. What do we say going forward? I think firstly, for me, our strategy is very clear. We've taken very decisive action in a number of areas, and hopefully that's come through. And I think it's starting to, to manifest itself in the, the state of the business. It doesn't necessarily show it in the numbers yet, but if you read through the numbers and you start looking at even things like the negatives of the volume decline in, fle in the flexible business, that for us is on strategy, and it's not like we now need to go back and try and recover all of that volume. It's gone, we're happy that it's gone, and we can move forward. And if you look at the impact of losing that, I think it's annualized close to 200 million, and the profit impact is only 4 million. So you can see that it was non-value adding for the group historically, and now we're actually able to clean that out, rationalize the business, and put some steps in place. So hopefully the returns in flexibles going forward will be a lot better than they have been historically.